seventh week in ordinary time tuesday reflection my dear friends greed when you are so self centered when you are so focus yourself greed can destroy you greed could come to your life you are greedy you are selfish it happens with insecurity in in book of genesis how they were greedy how they were became self centered they are so they were so free because god was there was there in their center but now after eating from the forbidden tree they have become self centered not god centered so then quarreling fighting damaging using throwing all these things happen when you are self centered beloved what causes quarrels and what causes fights among you is is it not that is not this that you your possessions are at war within you your passions are at war within you your passion your greed you want this i want ardently by hook or crook so you desire something and you try to achieve there by come what may so that becomes that would become an tunnel vision you would simply see the other edge end of your target not anything else you brush off all other things you are so selfishly greedily achieving whatever you want this can completely destroy you this is not christianity this is not exactly not what jesus wants them to experience that's why he made sure at the time jesus and his disciples went on from the mountain and passed through galilee and he did not want anyone to know for he was teaching his disciples saying to them the son of man is going to be delivered into the hands of men and they will kill him now this message is not for all the devotees for the disciples disciples because disciples are the people who are called to leave their limbs san francis to do the will of the father so it's important that you become a disciple if you want to go in this journey strongly so what happened the son of man is going to be delivered into the hands of men and they will kill him and when when he is killed after 3 days he will rise my dear friends now the best remedy for pride is pain you have been crushed you have been damaged you have been used you have been cheated so once that happen your pride is gone your pride is gone so that's exactly uh it's a journey towards self centeredness to god centered original form of our calling so that's ex- that's why first reading says coral you do not have because you do not have because you do not ask now if you if you are connected properly you you if you are connected you will not you will not crave something from outside no you will that desire is fulfilled within so as in augustine says my heart is restless until i rest in thee so then you do not fight so you pray you do not you have not asked you desire and do not have so you murder you covet and cannot obtain so you fight and quarrel you do not have because you do not ask now it's a, it's a it's a state where you are you, are, you don't have much facility but then you if you start trusting him he will open doors where you cannot even imagine you do not have because you do not ask and now it, the lord is saying now it's time for you to ask ask and then you will receive if you don't get this 
He, you know, know that he's Yahweh and you're Abba Father. If he's not giving that, it does not mean that you have to find another way to get it. No. If he's not giving that, it shows that it does not suit me. Have the trust in your life. Because you ask wrongly, you, you do not have, because you do not ask, you ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to sp spend it on your passions. Now, the Lord is saying you pray, but then prayer, your prayers are not answered because he, that prayer is governed by your own passion, your own craving. So you do this with an, with an ulterior motive. No. It's a very different, profound, deep journey. Because you ask wrongly. Uh, you ask, you ask, and you do, you, you because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. You adulterous people, do you not know the friendship with the world is enmity with God? Or this is this is where this is where the Lord is saying of your of your desire, if you crave something in the world, you you are going to lose God because you cannot be friendly with the world. You, it does not mean you hate it. But then you will live with awareness that I don't belong here. One day I have to go there to spend on our passion. We are that sort of people. Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you spouse? Or do you suppose it to no purpose that the scripture says, he yearns jealously over the spirit that he has made to dwell in us. But he gives more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud and but gives the grace to the humble. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your heart you sinners and purify your hearts you laughter be purify your hearts you double minded be wretched and mourn and weep let your laughter be turned to murmur mourning and your joy to gloom humble yourself therefore the lord and he will exalt you now oh, this is exactly the Gethsemane. this is the garden of eden where Adam wanted to be a god, but then God threw him away from the garden. This is exactly what happened to Jesus, how Jesus gave up his life and Lord raised him and made him, placed him above all of us. At the time Jesus said to the disciples, that's exactly why Jesus in the gospel, taking the disciples away from the crowd, away from the popular places, for them, for them to be taught, Jesus wants them to learn the, the real value of this life, the pain. The Lord is clearly showing them because if you cannot be a devotee, you can be a devotee without a disciple. A disciple is a one who completely let go of himself. And it's a beautiful calling. And he, when he said, then he said that I will be killed, I will be murdered. I'll be persecuted. But then in the same time he says, but, but, I'll be raised from the dead soon. But they kept silent for no other way. What were you, Jesus asked them, what were you discussing on the way? But they spent, they kept silent for no, on the, on the way they had argued with one another about who has the great, who is the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, my dear friends. However much Jesus taught them, they never understood that. So it's a journey where Jesus had to call them closer, call them closer, made them realize. So with your own selfishness, with your own fears, insecurity, just go to him. That's, there lies the remedy. There you get this assurance that I have him. So why should I fear? There you get assurance. I have his protection. So why I am worried about my finances? 
So it's a beautiful calling, beautiful calling to be completely connected to the Lord so that the pain, pain will help you to be connected. Pain is power. Think about it. Have a nice day. May God bless you.